White people pronounce bells as bells, dogs as dogs, houses as houses. And why students fail questions on plural markers is because they've not understood the phonetic environment where the different pronunciations of plural markers are realized. So in this video, we're going to learn the different phonetic environments that will help you in pronouncing the plural markers correctly. And as always, we're going to answer questions on plural markers from WASC past questions. <music> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dima Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the plural markers. The plural markers. This is very important for you to do well in your oral English test paper. So I encourage you to stay tuned to the end of the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel, click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Now let's get to it. There are three ways of pronouncing the plural markers. You can pronounce the plural markers as s, z, and is. S z and is. It depends on the phonetic environment where the plural markers occur. Now, let's first look at how to pronounce the plural marker as s. s. When you have a plural marker being preceded by any of these voiceless consonants, f, k, p, t, and f, please pronounce the plural marker as s. Let's see some examples. Max, pots, Cooks, dwarfs, pits. So these are some of the examples. So you have a voiceless consonant coming before the plural marker. In the word dwarfs, the sound that comes before the plural marker s is in the word max, the sound that comes before the plural marker is now let's go to the more relatively confusing one, which is when to pronounce the plural marker as z. This is where some people have problems. Now, it's very simple. Pronounce the plural marker as z. If the plural marker, that is s or es, is coming after a vowel sound, or if the s or es is being preceded by a vowel sound. If the s or es, that is the plural marker, is being preceded by a vowel sound, pronounce the plural marker as z. z. For example, bees. Bees shoes, keys, etc. Find out more examples by yourself. Now, another place where you have to pronounce the plural marker as z is when the plural marker is being preceded by any of these voiced consonants. B, D, G, V, M, N, N, V, O, and J. So when you have any of these voice consonants coming before the plural marker, pronounce the plural marker as z. z. Now let's see some examples: dogs, bells, combs, bangs. So all of these words have the plural markers being pronounced as z because the sounds within the plural markers are among the voice consonants that I mentioned. I hope you understand. Now let's go to the last one to pronounce the plural marker as is, is. Now you pronounce the plural marker as is if the plural marker is being preceded by a sibilant sound. Sibilant sounds include s, sh, z, j, and ch, s, sh, z, j, and j. These are sibilant sounds. So when you have a plural marker coming after any of these sounds, you pronounce the plural marker as is. For example, houses, houses, churches, noses, etc. So when you have any of these sounds coming before a plural marker, like in the word noses, you have z coming before the plural marker, you pronounce the plural marker as is. Noses, wishes, is not wishes, wishes. The last sound you hear before the plural marker is sh. So you're going to pronounce the plural marker as is, wishes. Languages, whenever you have a similar sound or any of the sounds that I mentioned coming before the plural marker, you pronounce it as is, is, not is, is. Now, let's answer questions from the past questions. I hope you are ready. 
Now let's see questions from 2015. What's past questions? We have from the word letter A to D, choose the word that has the same sound, the same consonant sound as the one represented by the letter or letters underlined. We have question 22 in 2015. Question 22, we have boys. Option A, zinc. B, streets. C, pots. And D, keys. Now, which one is the correct answer? Boys. How is it pronounced? Boys. Because the plural marker isn't preceded by a vowel sound. I. I. That's why you're pronouncing the S as Z. 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 Now, which of the options has Z in it? Zinc, street, pots, or keys? The correct answer is option A. Zinc. Option B, street, doesn't have Z. Option C, pots. The plural marker is not pronounced z, but s, because t is a voiceless consonant. Now, option D, keeps. Keeps is also not the correct answer. You already know why. Now, let's see another one. The last one. Question 19 from 2016. We have phrase. Phrase. The underlined letter is S. And that S is pronounced z. z. So, we're going to choose the option that has z. Now, option A, we have sis. B, we have fleece. C, sees. And D, price. The correct answer is option C, sees. In the word sees, the plural marker isn't preceded by a vowel sound. E, E. So, option C is the correct answer. So, option A, sis. B, fleece. And D, Price are not the correct answers. Option C is the correct answer because it has in it just like you have in phrase. I hope you understood. So this is where we come to the end of the lesson. I hope you understood the lesson. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, and share the video to your friends. See you very soon in another video. Bye for now.